your process when developing a character, and is there such thing to you guys as going too far into backstory? So I don't know if you heard that, but a uh, question about uh, writing a character and, and, and creating too much backstory. I don't, I don't actually, no one, can anyone, I don't even know. I don't actually really believe in backstory. I don't generally believe in backstory in that way that people believe in backstory. I feel like you need to know as much as you need to know about the character. And I feel like you, you only need to know as much as you need to know, and then when you stop needing to know it, you don't need to know it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no religious conviction against backstory. The danger, I mean, I, I, I on occasion even encourage it when it's clear that writer doesn't understand his, his or her character. But the problem with spending a lot of time researching backstory is the, the, you feel the obligation you now have to include all that yes, information. Yes, that's the thing, yes. Um, and you don't. Th that's how you are preparing to do the character. I mean, uh, what, uh, how I've broken it down is uh, it takes many, dra many drafts to, to do a play, and it feels like the first couple of drafts are the writer telling him or herself what the play might be about. Then eventually the characters starting emerging and it's the characters telling the writer what the play might be about. And then at some magical moment down the road the characters just exist and the play just be. But um, you do have to go through, because you're, you know, yep. you're making something out, out, not quite out of nothing, but um, it is quite a process and you just have to find your way to discover what it is you're doing. Yeah, I like backstory as necessary. Like, if I'm writing something and I'm and I'm, you know, creating a character, and I feel like too much research or too much trying to uh, create backstory sometimes inhibits me as opposed to just writing and then seeing what happens. But if I get to a point where I'm like, um, right now I'm working on something that takes place in 1969, and if I'm getting to the point where at some point I kind of have to just write and go like, I think this is what 1969 was like. Just write it out, everything's wrong. People are saying things like about their cell phone, who cares, just <laughs> keep writing, you know? Getting it out so that I'm not in, like inhibited by the fact that I have to be correct. And then going back and going, oh, okay, like I wonder, I wonder, you know, what was happening right now, so that it becomes exciting as opposed to, um, <coughs> all the work I have to do before I get to actually do the writing, because that, otherwise, I feel paralyzed. And I've done that to myself before, and it just, like I was working on another piece, I was like, I have to read the whole Bible <laughs> before I can even start. I literally said that to myself, and the King James Version too, which, I don't know, it's hard to understand. It's like Shakespeare, right? So I was like, I'm just gonna read this much of the Bible every day, and I'm gonna get through the whole thing. Well, that fell apart really quickly. <laughs> You know, because it was me <laughs> trying to be like, I'm going to do all my research and then actually start writing, as opposed to just writing and then going to the source material as I needed it, yeah. as necessary. You're not, you're I, not actually getting your PhD. That's right. Yeah. I regret being glib. I don't mean that I'm anti-backstory. I, I agree. I think that you just, I think you, you know when you need to know more, and then you should learn more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, it's kind that's of actually nice to be a little bit ignorant at first. That's so awesome. That you kind of just there's a theory that you should do all your research after, and it's not true sometimes. Like if you're like writing about hospitals, you do actually have to know things. But I would often write about things, and then I would read the things I referenced after. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like, usually it worked out. After it's been produced or after? Oh yeah. Okay. Like no, usually after I wrote it, I would okay. read things. Like I would right. reference things, and then I would be like, I should really read. Right. You know, like. Whatever ignorant, whatever thing I'm, you know, didn't know about, but and it would be okay. I'd written a play like about Barbados, and I hadn't been there since I was like seven, and I wrote the play, and I was like, this is where Barbados is, blah 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 blah. This is how everybody speaks there. Totally hadn't been there forever, and then after I'd like done like lots of drafts, then I went, and and I was like, oh okay, some stuff was like how I think it needed to be, and some stuff I was like. That's fascinating. Oh, that gives me insight into going back and writing. But it was nice to just kind of write it out, yeah. and um, you know, you're like, oh, let's see what happens. And then, <laughs> and then also, you realize that you're such a fabulist of your own imagining, anyway, because you like remember facts, but they're not facts. Mm -hmm. They're the way you remember the facts. So that's right. One, one of the beautiful uh, bonuses of writing is it's a great tool for learning something about something yeah. because you're only learning based on what you need to know or you're curious about. And of course, uh, 
I, I'm a big believer in curiosity. And there's no better way to learn than because you want to do it, as opposed to taking a course and, and spewing back facts. Mm -hmm. um, as a kid, I, I was an educational purist. I was a, I was a jerk, I guess. But um, and I and I and I remember um, I went to a really good high school, and I couldn't wait to go to university because I was going to take the real courses. I was going to take psychology and philosophy and look out. And I remember taking my first. I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but I was um, took my first philosophy course. And after a few weeks, the TA said, okay, your first exam is coming up, and here are the chapters you have to memorize. And I thought, memorize chapters? What kind of learning is that? What kind of education is that? It just, it just felt wrong. But I did memorize the chapters. But on the test, rather than write the answers, I wrote the page numbers. I could find the answers. Um, and then in the essay, the two philosophers actually got into a fist fight. Um, I did not do well on that exam, even though my answers were correct, because uh, there are a lot of people in the academic world who don't take criticism well. Um, but, but it's, I mean, finding ways to want to learn stuff about stuff is terrific, and writing uh, is a great way to do that. I've been writing a hospital show for three years and I diagnosed my coworkers shingles. Oh. Really? Oh yeah. It's like going to med school. <laughs> it's not. Playwriting med school. Yeah.